everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. And this is another edition of Car Conversations on Jay Lee's Corner. Okay. Um, I didn't feel like yelling today, y'all. I hope everybody's having a great Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. I'm so happy it's Friday. Um, if I could just get to work and get off work, we would be in a great position. Um, if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and become a whole Jaybird. Jaybird. Dun, 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 dun. And all that good shit. So, I kept going back and forth over this whole abortion ban. And I was posting about how I wanted to do, you know, some other serious topics here and there. So, you know, I spoke about it a little bit when I did, I went live. I think one night, one night, late night or whatever, and I spoke about it a little bit. But I just wanted to kind of just make a video about it because I, it, it's on my brain, okay? It's on my mind. And I have an opinion because I have a uterus, okay, and all of that. So, Alabama passed the bill or passed the law well it won't go into effect for six months and that's if it's well this will be you know um people gonna try to fight it so it's not a law yet okay so abortion is still legal in the state of alabama however the governor did sign the thing to make it a law because they want to say people in alabama think all life is precious you know, everybody's life matters. And even the, the babies in the bellies that are not born yet and all that good stuff. And this is what pisses me off about that. I, don't, I think people who are pro-life are confused in thinking that people who are okay with abortions are not pro-life. It's pro-choice. Okay? Because I posted a little opinion about it on my Instagram page. Was, I think it was yesterday or day before yesterday. And someone commented, like, you know, you know, I respectfully disagree with you. You know what I'm saying? I think all life was precious, blah, 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 blah. And I said, okay, that's your opinion. But why do you feel like your opinion should be law and now I should have to live my life and make my choices based on what you would do with your body? This is my body. That's your body. This is my body. And the simple fact that people can't see how the reason we are upset is because you took a woman's choice away a woman should have a choice to decide what she wants to do with her baby or her body okay and if she's pregnant for whatever reason god damn it and she doesn't want to go through with the pregnancy that's her choice and for anybody like oh well you know babies this life is precious what do you do with the child once they're born? If I was to be, well, it's not me per se, but if someone was to be pregnant, I don't live in Alabama, I live in Michigan, but if someone was to be pregnant and they wanted to have an abortion and an abortion in their state is illegal and they're then forced to have that child, what if that person doesn't have insurance? What if that person can't afford the child? Who pays for the, the, the delivery? Who pays for the child when the child is born? Huh? Who does that? And then let's say everybody, you know, they start giving the babies away. Then the state, are y'all going to properly take care of the babies? We hear horror stories about children in the system and how they are basically forgotten about or ignored. And then horrible things happen to them. And they grow up with all these scars of what has happened to them because they were in the system I, it's, it's the weirdest thing that they are so concerned with making sure or trying to pass a law that says you know woman can't have the right to choose to want an abortion but there's nothing in place to like fix the, the, the education system fix the welfare make people be able to pay for the children themselves make foster care better make all make all of that stuff better before you tell somebody you can't have an abortion, it's illegal. Oh, and, and the doctor who performs the abortion can get a, up to 100 years in jail. I said, 100 years? It, I just don't understand. And again, 
just because you feel you feel like every life is precious and nobody should be aborting babies because abortion is murder if that's your stance no one's saying that's wrong no one's saying that's wrong what we're saying is that's your fucking opinion it just isn't mine okay and that's the part that frustrates me about people who are pro-life is that for some of them they don't get that their opinion is in fact period and i think they forget the reason abortions were made not made legal but the reason abortions uh, were sanctioned the way they were where it was a doctor would do it because people were dying back in the day dying because they were having as they would call them back alley abortions back alley abortions back door abortions all that stuff I, you that used girls they would bring up how women used to use hangers to kill a baby would stick hangers in themselves trying to abort a baby we hear about girls who do have babies and then they they throw the baby in the trash. They abandon the babies. Why? Because they probably couldn't afford the abortion or was too scared to go through a backdoor abortion, a back alley abortion. So they stay pregnant. They had the baby in secret and then dump the baby somewhere. And then everybody upset. Well, why would they dump the baby? Because they didn't want the baby. So what makes anybody think that if you now have places to where in their state they can't get an abortion? And they said, apparently, allegedly, that, and I, I don't know which state it was, because some states have the heartbeat bill where they say if the, you know, the person is more than six weeks, they can't have an abortion. But as we all know, that's the wrong time you find out. So what would happen is women would have to, women who are sexually active would just, every time have to keep taking a pregnancy test from the, the day after they had sex. I said, you know, as a person, this law kind of doesn't affect me. I'm extra careful about being pregnant, okay? I'm extra careful. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, things can happen. I, I get that. However, I feel like this law is going to more affect children who are growing up. Little young girls who are growing Did y'all just stop traffic for no reason? Girl, this girl, Lord Jesus. It's construction on freeways. People was acting like they can't drive. But, um, it's going to more affect the you know, teenage girls now, young girls, you know what I'm saying? My, my god daughters and everything. Hell, even my god sons, because the thing is, if a dude get a little girl pregnant, the baby is going to be there. Um, but it's because if the law goes into effect, again, I'm 37, so I don't think I'm going to be having no abortions. You know, I I, I, I I haven't had any. I don't think I'm going to have any in the future. So, uh, it's not really going to affect me. It's uh, the children who we have to look at. If a girl who is 17 gets raped and she has a, and gets pregnant, she can't have an abortion because the law in Alabama, you know, does not have any ruling about if you were raped or if you're a victim of incest that you can have an abortion. It the only way they say you can have an abortion is if you uh, if, if your body like if it's a a medical emergency, and that's really it. But if a girl is raped, if a girl is a, a victim of incest, meaning their family was fucking them and they got pregnant, they will be forced to have that child. That's the crazy part that I don't think people get. Don't think about your your, your friend, Boom Quisha, who's 37, and she, you know, make, she too old for that bullshit. But if our young teenage, young 20-year-olds, you know, get into that situation... They will be forced to have that child. And again, we know people now who have kids they can't afford. But they supposedly wanted them. Can you imagine what a person who can't afford a baby and is forced to have a baby will do to that baby? Think about it. We see horrendous stories of, of parents who chose to have children and they do horrible things to them kids or they fuck around and kill them kids. And this stuff happens to children of fucked up parents and now you're going to probably force people to be fucked up parents because how do you expect a victim of rape to have a child and not think about what happened to them and not all rape victims may be you know become these horrible parents but i just would not want to have my choice 
taken away from me. If I was already raped or a victim of incest, my choice was already taken away from me. I was basically impregnated because I had no choice. Somebody forced themselves on me. Not a state gonna force me to have a fucking baby. Are you gonna pay me for the kid? And that's what I wonder too. Who gonna pay for the child, the, the child care? The hospital bill. Because if you tell me I have to have a baby, then you should pay for it. I shouldn't have to pay for it. You should have to pay for it. Period. Again, I feel like this isn't really about people my age. I feel like people my age, we are wise enough to take as many precautions as we can. Even though, yes, accidents happen, cars are 100%, and nothing is 100%. But you could be prepared enough to be prepared. And I feel like some people, if, you, if, you, if it's that much of an issue, I would just move states. I would have to save up, you know, figure out. Because I don't want to be in a state where my child don't have a choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I had a teenage kid, I would like, okay, where can we move to safely where, you know, this may not be an issue? Because today is abortion. Tomorrow it could be, you know, something different. And it could affect everybody. You know what I'm saying? Again, this law does not directly affect me and my life. However, it still angers me because you're taking the woman's choice away to choose what she wants to do with her body. And until y'all start putting sanctions on these dicks, get people pregnant. Because if I'm forced to have a baby, he should be forced to get snip snipped. Okay? Period. And if the woman, if the doctor is then, you know, put in jail for doing the abortion, I'm pretty sure the person who had the abortion, there will be some kind of repercussion to that being to that happening what happened with the daddy who knew he was impregnating somebody and he went along the abortion too it's just it, it's it's seen it's a whole bunch that can go wrong it seemed like it wasn't thought out it seemed like oh it's a good idea to say you know all life was precious we in alabama believe girl alabama's a fucked up state all tea, all shade. The South itself <laughs> is a bit fucked up. We all know that. You know, we have other bad states too, not just in the South. You know, also, hell, East, West, North, all of it. All of it. There are places in the United States, and there are places in the fucking universe that just have crazy people with crazy ideas and crazy views. But I feel like you should not take a person's choice away. The same, and this whole thing, all life was precious. But people getting killed, left and right, all up and through, the, you know, everywhere. Everywhere. Motherfuckers still racist. Oh, all life was precious. Man, look. At the end of the day, let me, let me wrap this up. At the end of the day, yes, all life is precious. That's very, very true. However, my body, my choice. Okay? My body, my choice. Not your body, your choice. My body, my choice. Point to the blank to the period. Like, you can't tell me what to do with my body. You just shouldn't do it. It just doesn't make any sense. It does not make sense. And again, church and state should be separate. People who believe all life, you know, all life, the whole thing, that's more of a church thing. You know what I'm saying? That's different, but that sh- it shouldn't be. Lo- it's not. It shouldn't not be- the law should not be telling people that I can't have no abortion if I want one. If there are doctors that can safely end the pregnancy, then guess what? That's what should happen. Cause as that people keep saying, outlawing abortions at least in in Alabama, some of these other states who say you can't have an abortion after six weeks, people are not going to just be having babies. They not. People gonna be going to the look. I said before. Every time you have sex, if you live in Alabama before and after, take a Plan B pill. But I'm like hell. Are they gonna outlaw Plan B pills? Are they gonna outlaw you know outlaw uh, um, birth control condoms? I mean, like, where is it gonna stop to where they police or control what you can and can't do with your goddamn on vagina and your uterus, your fallopian tubes? Like, where does it stop? Is my question. So you know. I'd be like, look, before and after, just go ahead and get you some some Plan Bs. Like, just keep them on deck. Keep them stocked up. Period. Um, it's just unfortunate that they think they can control it. I just, girl. And it makes me so mad because so many people was like, well, you know, this life is precious and we shouldn't be killing babies. Da, da, da. I'm not saying people should kill babies. 
not saying that at all. What I'm saying is if somebody pregnant and they don't want to have their baby, they have the right to make a choice of what they want to do. Period. Even if I don't agree with it. There are things that, that I don't agree with in this world, but I can't. It's, this, it's because it's my opinion on something. What this is, is one part, one side, a one-sided person's opinion has been made law. That's what happened. That's what happened and why people are pissed. So, if you are a person who watches me, if you pro-life, you are, I'm, look, I'm not going back and forth with nobody. Okay, this video might not, might not get that many views, I don't know. But I'm not going back and forth with nobody. Feel free to put your opinions all up and through the comment section. I'm not going back and forth with nobody. I said what I said. I am pro-choice. And also being pro-choice, a person has a choice or they can choose to not believe in abortion. I don't have anything. I don't care if you don't believe in abortion or you think it's wrong. That's fine for you to... I don't care about that. That's just your opinion. The same way you don't care that my opinion is a woman should have the right to choose. The thing is... And I, I, I responded to the one person who commented on my thing and I said... What if there was a law that said people, you know, insert with, with her name, if people with a certain name here, you know what I'm saying, had to get an abortion? Like, you, what if they said that you couldn't even birth a baby because your name was that? If that just happened to be the law, how would you feel if somebody forced you to have an abortion? And that's the part I think people don't get. You are, they, people who are pro life don't get that. Me, what, what's happening is. This law will be forcing people to, you know, basically have a baby if they don't go alter your motors or alter your, or, or, if they don't don't do something else. Okay, they were not. But what if the law was you have to have an abortion? What if they say the the, the, the population is too much? If you get pregnant, you have to have an abortion. Why? Because that's the fucking law. What would you then say now? You can't. They will be pissed off. The same way you should not be able to force someone to have a child, you should not force anyone to have an abortion. Period. Okay? And now I got that out my system. Okay? Woo! Alright, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later on. I have to still do the Braxton's and Hustle the Soul, Lord Jesus. But I want everyone to have a great, great um, Friday. Because I'm going to have me a great, great Friday. Because it's Friday. Friday. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace, y'all.